Hello students, welcome back to all of you and in the previous module we discussed about different solids and their base areas, surface areas, volumes as well as if diagonals are there and we discussed about diagonals also. And in this module we are going to discuss about few set of problems which are given in previous board examinations. right? A quick recap on this topic called solid geometry or surface areas and volumes. See in this concept surface areas and volumes we discussed about various solids like cuboid, cube, cylinder, cone, sphere, hemisphere as well as frustum of cone. right? So, let us have a quick look on the problems which are given in previous board examinations. So, the very first problem given here is if you once observe water in a canal 6 meters wide and 1.5 meters deep is flowing with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. How much area will it irrigate in 30 minutes if 8 centimeter of standing water is needed? This is one of the very interesting problem basing on speed distance time. right? See what is the information given water in a canal 6 meters wide 1.5 meters deep is flowing with a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Basically how do you think the shape of the canal? See here width of the canal is given and depth of the canal is also given and water is flowing. So that we can consider the canal which is in the shape of a cuboid. Right? So I am drawing a canal here. See this is what the canal and from this canal the water is flowing. So this is water is flowing and this is what is the speed of the water or flow of the water. And what is the speed of the water given here? Speed of the water is 10 kilometers per hour. So here speed of the water is given as 10 kilometers per hour. And what is the required information or what are you going to prove here? How much area will it irrigate? So water is flowing through, water is flowing from one place to the other place. See, this is what the other place that water is flowing through. And now here, how much area will it irrigate in 30 minutes? So time taken is equal to 30 minutes. Time taken is 30 minutes. So how much area will it irrigate? How much area means what? What is the base area of this part? Since this is flowing from canal to another place, here both of them are in the shape of cuboids. Here the dimensions of the first cuboid are given as width of the canal. So width of the canal is equal to let it be W1 is 6 meters as well as depth of the canal is nothing but height is going to be 1.5 meters. right? And coming here. How much area will it irrigate is nothing but what is the base area. So base area means L into B I would take L2 into B2 or W2 is equal to how much and if 8 centimeter of standing water is needed 8 centimeter of standing water means what the height of the water in this particular area is going to be 8 centimeters. So H2 is equal to 8 centimeters. This is what is the information given. Now once you observe according to the information, water is flowing from this place to this place. So whatever the quantity or amount of the water is flowing from here, that amount of water will be stored here. It means volume of the water flow from here should be same as volume of the water occupying this place. right? So volume of this first canal should be equal to volume of the second canal. So in order to find volume of the canal is nothing but volume of the cuboid, you need length, width as well as height. But here we do not know what is the length of the canal. For that what is the information given? The speed of the water flow is given as well as the time is also given. So with the help of the speed as well as time, we can find what is the distance travelled by the water during this particular period of time. That can be considered as length of the canal here, right? So that length of the canal is equal to distance travelled by the water within this particular period of time. So what is the formula for distance? Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Okay? So here 
before you answer this problem ensure that everything has to be in same units everything has to be in same units for example you are talking about width height as well as length should be either in centimeters or should be either in meters or should be either in kilometers but the proper units that you consider here speed equal to 10 kilometers per hour time is equal to 30 minutes and here width is 6, 6 meters and 1.5 meters is 8 centimeters so the proper units for all these information is meters so that you can convert centimeters also into meters and you can convert kilometers also into meters so you will get proper information otherwise if you want to convert everything into centimeters see 10 kilometers 10 kilometers equal to how many centimeters you will get a huge number got it so that is why i am going to convert everything into meters right so speed is equal to 10 kilometers per hour this is 10 kilometers per hour into time is equal to 30 minutes time equal to 30 minutes so what am i going to do here converting kilometers into meters and then converting hours into minutes okay which is equal to 10 kilometers 10 into 1 kilometer 1 kilometer is equal to how many meters 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters divided by 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes into 30 minutes right so here minute minute gets cancelled 30 ones and 30 twos are 60 so 2 ones to 5 are 10 so finally the length of the canal or the distance traveled by the water in 30 minutes is equal to 5 into 1000 is going to be 5000 meters so i have converted and ultimately i got all the units of the first canal coming to the second canal i don't want l2 and w2 individually i want how much how much area will it irrigate so that is why i just want l2 into b2 but h2 is given in centimeters but converting the units into meters so that i am going to write this 8 centimeters as 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meters right so 8 into 1 by 100 is equal to 8 by 100 meters right this is what is h2 now i am ready with all the units so that now the plan of action is according to the information volume of this first canal is equal to volume of the second canal so that according to the given problem according to the given problem now i am going to use according to the given problem volume of first canal is equal to volume of second canal right what is the formula for volume l1 into w1 into h1 is equal to l2 into w2 into h2 right l1 i got it as 5000 meters into w1 it is 6 meters into h1 h1 is equal to how much 1.5 meters which is equal to i just want l2 into w2 together into what is h2 here h2 is equal to 8 upon 100 since i just want l2 into w2 transposing 8 divided by 100 towards right hand side so that l2 into w2 is equal to see this is 5000 into 15 6 are how much 90 90 means it is only 9 multiplied by see here it is 8 by 100 would become 100 divided by 8 so now if i simplify this what do i get here uh, let me just uh, finish it by 4 2s are 8 4 25s are 100 and similarly 2 ones to 4.5s right now why am i multiplying like this because here it is 4.5 when you give one 0 to 4.5 it would become 45 then i left with 500 here and remaining this is 45 and this is 25 which is equal to l2 into w2 right so l2 into w2 is equal to 
फाइव टू जीरो फोर्टी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ हाउ एम आई गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस लाइक आई वुड मल्टीप्लाई आई वुड टेक दिस फाइव हियर फाइव फाइव सर ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फोर ट्वेंटी प्लस टू ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड देन टू जीरो आर देर सो टू जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव इज ईक्वल टू एल टू डब्ल्यू टू सो फाइनली आई एम गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई एवरीथिंग विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फाइव जीरो सर जीरो ट्वेंटी फाइव जीरो सर जीरो ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव सर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो फाइव एंड आई एम लेफ्ट विथ ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू सो टू सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सो फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो जीरो मीटर स्क्वेर इज एल टू इंटू डब्ल्यू टू वॉट डू मीन बाई दिस The area it irrigates in 30 minutes is 562500 meter square. That is what the area it will irrigate in 30 minutes if 8 centimeters of the standing water is needed. So the basic idea of answering this problem is the very first thing that you need to understand the given problem and what is the importance of the speed as well as time. so the importance of speed as well as time is to find out the distance and how do you understand the distance that you are going to convert so the distance traveled by the water within the given period of time can be considered as the length of the canal that is what we have to understand hope you understand the problem right let's move on to the next problem so the next problem is going to be a solid is in the form of a cylinder with hemispherical ends The total height of the solid is twenty centimeters, and the diameter of the cylinder is seven centimeters. Find the total volume of the solid. See, if you observe the problem clearly, a solid is in the form of a cylinder with hemispherical ends. Cylinder with hemispherical ends. How can I understand this problem? I am going to draw one cylinder. So this is one cylinder. Okay. So this cylinder has hemispherical ends. means the top is one hemisphere as well as the bottom is also one hemisphere so if you observe this problem this problem is just related to one problem we did uh, in exercise 2 um, that problem is have you remember that problem what is that um gulab jam problem as well as medicine capsule problem just similar to that so if you once observe this A solid is in the form of a cylinder. This is a cylinder, and uh, the hemispherical ends. This is one hemisphere, and this is hemisphere at the ends. The total height of the solid is twenty centimeters. Total height of the solid means from here to here, it is twenty centimeters. Total height of the solid, and after that, and the diameter of the cylinder is seven centimeters. So diameter of the cylinder is seven centimeters means this is seven centimeters. If that is seven centimeters, what about this only length? Only length is going to be seven by two centimeters, and from here to here is also equal to seven by two centimeters. So what is that seven by two? That is the radius of the sphere. Okay, so radius of the sphere is equal to seven by two centimeters because this is the total. The diameter of the cylinder is going to be. See, this is the diameter of the cylinder. Okay, so the diameter of the cylinder is exactly same as the diameter of the sphere also because both are attached at the ends. So that is why this is seven by two. This is seven by two. The total height is going to be twenty centimeters. Seven by two plus seven by two is equal to seven. Correct. So if the total one is equal to twenty centimeters, the total height of the cylind total height of this model is equal to twenty centimeters. This only portion is going to occupy seven centimeters. Then, what about the length? Otherwise, height of the cylinder. Height of the cylinder is going to be twenty minus seven. What is twenty minus seven? Is going to be thirteen centimeters. So, thirteen centimeters is what is the height of the cylinder? Now, what are we going to find? Find the total volume of the solid. So, I am going to write the dimensions. So, the dimensions here are. first the dimensions of cylinder and i have what is that i have a hemisphere also so cylinder as well as hemisphere 
coming to the cylinder radius of the cylinder is going to be because radius of cylinder is exactly same as the radius of the radius of the sphere so radius of the cylinder is equal to 7 divided by 2 7 divided by 2 centimeters and height of the cylinder is going to be 20 minus 7 so 20 minus 7 is equal to 13 centimeters and coming here hemisphere what is the radius of the hemisphere of course radius of the hemisphere is going to be 7 by 2 centimeters so with the help of this information when you observe to find out the total volume of the model see volume of the model in the sense volume means the quantity right what is the quantity see here the quantity is the first one is a cylinder one side is one hemisphere another side is another hemisphere so in order to find the total volume of the model is going to be volume of cylinder plus two times volume of hemispheres two times volume of hemisphere is equal to volume of one sphere so therefore total volume total volume of the model is going to be volume of cylinder plus 2 times 2 times volume of hemispheres 2 times volume of hemisphere so that volume of cylinder what is the formula for volume of cylinder pi r square h and what is 2 times volume of sphere 2 times volume of sphere is equal to volume of hemispheres is equal to volume of sphere so volume of sphere is equal to 4 third pi r cube see here i am using only small r for both of them because r remains same in both the cases right now can you take anything common yes pi is there to take common r square and r cube so r square can be taken common so that i am taking pi r square common remaining here 1 h and here 4 by 3 into one more r is there now you substitute use the value of pi so this is pi use the value of pi is equal to 22 by 7 so when i use 22 by 7 here 22 by 7 times radius radius is going to be 7 by 2 in both the cases so that 7 by 2 square so 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into h h is nothing but height of the cylinder that is 13 plus 4 divided by 3 into radius is equal to 7 divided by 2 got it and now if there is any cancellation please do cancel so here 1 7 and 1 7 gets cancelled 2 ones 2 11 are 22 and coming here left with 11 into 7 is equal to 77 divided by only 2 here what about the terms 2 ones and 2 twos are 4 so that here the numerator is 2 sevens are 14 divided by 3 13 plus 14 divided by 3 13 threes are 39 39 plus 14 see here we got 13 plus 2 sevens are 14 divided by 3 which is going to be 13 threes are 39 plus 14 divided by 3 so 39 plus 14 is going to be 53 so which is equal to 53 divided by only 3 correct so 53 divided by 3 now you will have to multiply 77 and 53 because nothing can be cancelled so finally we get here 57 into 53 into 7 so what is 53 multiplied by 7 which is going to be 7 3s are 21 1 2 7 5 35 plus 2 is equal to 37 and again 371 totally this is 1 7 plus 1 equal to 8 4081 4081 divided by 23 are 6 centimeter cube is the total volume of the model according to the given problem you understand see solid is in the form of a cylinder with hemispherical ends this is a cylinder with hemispherical ends and the total height of the solid is going to be 20 centimeters and the diameter of the cylinder is going to be 7 centimeters if this is the diameter that is exactly same as the diameter of the hemisphere so if the diameter of the hemisphere is equal to 7 then what is the radius of the hemisphere is going to be 7 by 2 centimeters with the help of the information 
this is what the information regarding cylinder and this is only the information regarding hemisphere and since you need to find the total volume of the model so the total volume of the model is going to be volume of the cylinder plus 2 times volume of the hemisphere 2 times volume of the hemisphere is nothing but completely its volume of one sphere so therefore total volume is going to be volume of cylinder is pi r square h and 2 times volume of hemisphere is equal to volume of sphere that is 4 third pi r cube and substitute the values finally you get 4081 divided by 6 centimeter cube since it is volume hope you understand how to answer this problem of course recently this problem was given in board examination 2019 and um, i think you are enjoying doing these problems thank you